Okay. How are you guys doing? All right. Uh, in this video, I want to look at something called the velocity of the center of mass. Okay, velocity of the center of mass. And this will help us in our understanding of when we're dealing with um, system of particles and how the system of particles moves. Okay, so that's enough, enough of an introduction. Just recall this, okay? We'll get into this now. Remember if you have a single particle, what was the what is the equation for the linear impulse and momentum? Remember that we had the mass of the particle times its velocity at state one plus the sum of all the impulses, right? Is equal to the mass times velocity at state two of that particle. And remember that these forces, well, it's not so relevant here, um, but these forces are external forces, but it's more relevant when you have a system of particles. Now consider a system of particles. What was the uh, equation for linear momentum and impulse, linear impulse and momentum for a system of particles? Remember it was the sum of mi vi at state 1, meaning we're summing up the momentum of every single particle, the momentum of that particle, plus that particle, plus the momentum of that particle, right? At state 1, plus FDT, and remember that this force here uh, only referred to this type of force, which was external forces, not not internal forces like this Fi, right? So these were external impulses. And then this equaled the sum of MIVI at state 2. So the total, the sum of all the momenta, is that the word? Maybe you can send me an email. I don't want to say momentums. Momenta at state 1 of every single particle plus the sum of all the external impulses, we should say impulses, is equal to the sum of all the, the sum of all the momenta at state two. All right, we've got that down. Now, we need to, I want, I want us to have a look at this, okay, the M, sum of MIVI. Now, if you look here, we've got this MRG is equal to the sum of M I R I. What does this mean? This is just the equation that allows us to calculate the center of mass. Okay, so we can't go into all the details again, but if we've got all these particles in our system with with their masses and their different locations from a an inertial coordinate system, remember we, we used the principle of moments. We said M, the mass of the total system, total mass times the center, times the position of the center of mass is equal to the sum of MIRI. Okay? So, we don't have time to go over this again, but the point is that this sum of MI is just our total mass. And if we take the derivative of this, we get this equation. Okay, so what is this saying? Okay, so like, what's the point here? The point is that if we're looking at this, sum of MIVI, it's the same as saying the mass of the entire system times the velocity of the center of mass. Okay? This is the same as the mass of the entire system times the velocity of the center of mass plus the sum of all the impulses is equal, and this is at state 1, is equal to the mass of the entire system times the velocity of the center of gravity at state 2. So it's the same as saying we lump all these masses together into one mass and all these masses have a center of mass. So the momentum at the beginning at state 1 is the t total mass times the velocity of the center of mass. Okay. Now this is, this is important when we move into chapter 15.3, so just, I hope you just get this idea here. So this is what we're saying here, okay? 
All right. We'll see you in the next video.